Your screen. Yes. Can you see if this is recording? Yes. It is recording. Yeah. Okay, Hi. great. Hi. So welcome, Hi. welcome to our presentation. Uh, we're going to present Open Virtual Mobility Project and the pilot case studies that we conducted during COVID-19. And um, the focus of our case studies is how we integrated the mini MOOCs that we developed in the project into our curricula at the universities, into courses that we teach. And I have uh, three colleagues here with me, uh, Vlad um, from Timisoara, Gemma from uh, Ibiza, Spain, and Francesca from Italy, and myself, uh, Ilona, from Berlin in Germany. And we will present these case studies from those countries and also one more from uh, Slovenia from a colleague who cannot be here with us. So to give you briefly the context of the case studies, um, we have uh, conducted the case studies as part of the Open Virtual Mobility Project, which is an Erasmus Plus strategic partnership running from 2017 to 2020. And we are nine different uh, universities or network of universities that participate in the project and you can see them all here. The project is coordinated by Boyd University in Berlin and we have University Roma Tre, uh, which Francesca represents, University Politecnica Timisoara, which Vlad represents, and University of Balearic Islands, which Gemma represents. Um, the project focuses on virtual mobility in context of open education. Uh, so that's why we also develop a series of mini MOOCs um, to uh, basically enable uh, students and teachers acquire skills that are needed for virtual mobility in the context of open education, which means um, taking individual initiative, uh, building own learning environment to support virtual mobility um, at the initiative of the student and making this in open learning spaces with tools uh, and environments that allow to connect with people from different countries, learn together as part of, uh, for example, university courses. So here is our website. You can go to www.openvirtualmobility.eu and find out about our project, also about uh, our publications and outputs. Um, for example, about our open badges that we issue, about the MOOCs, about um, uh, the learning hub that we are going to present. And uh, also there is a nice brochure that uh, gives you an overview of what we have done. Um, so this is how we designed our mini MOOCs. Um, you can find them on the learning hub. It's hub.openvirtualmobility.eu. Uh, and uh, all the MOOCs, we have uh, eight MOOCs. All the MOOCs are free and open for everybody to participate. And they are designed as mini MOOCs, which means they are in a short format and you can take them either self-paced or in groups with students. And it doesn't take long. Um, it takes about 90 minutes to complete one level. So that's why we call them also mini MOOCs. So you don't need much time to complete them. And um, each mini MOOC starts with a pre-assessment, which gives you an idea about the level of your skill. Then you can complete one of the three levels, foundation level, intermediate level, or advanced level. We have different forms of e-assessment, for example, quizzes, but also e-portfolio. And once you have completed all the activities, you can earn a badge which certifies the level of the skills. And here are the different skills that uh, you can develop using our MOOCs. Each MOOC is dedicated to one of those skill clusters. So we have intercultural skills and attitude, networked learning, active self-regulated learning skills, uh, media and digital literacy, autonomy, autonomy driven learning, interactive and collaborative learning in an authentic international environment, open mindedness and gaining knowledge of virtual mobility and open education. These are our credentials. You can see them in, when you are in the hub, but also at the website of our um, cooperation partner, Bester. We use Bester badging platform and um, you can find all the badges that can be earned in the MOOCs on their website too. So now we go to the presentation of the case studies. 
um, we will give an overview of the five pilot case studies that we conducted during the COVID-19 phase. So at the beginning of 2020 or end of 2019, um, those are the universities that, part that participated. At Boyd University, we piloted two MOOCs, Collaborative Learning and Network Learning MOOC, into uh, study programs. One is, was Digital Business Bachelor and the other one was Media Informatics at Master level. In University in Rome, all of the MOOCs were piloted because postgraduate students could choose one of the MOOCs. At the University of Balearic Islands, also students could choose from any of the MOOCs and uh, the piloting was done in the PhD program on educational technology. At the Polytechnic University in Timisoara, also all MOOCs could be cho chosen by students at all levels and the piloting was done in a multimedia um, bachelor study program. And also we have another university that participated that is not a direct partner in the project, but they were interested in piloting the collaborative MOOC a collaborative learning MOOC and this was done in uh, University of Maribor in study program of multimedia systems. So this gives you just an overview and we continue with pilot case studies starting with the first one in uh, Berlin where we co uh, piloted collaborative and network learning MOOC. So this a case study uh, took place in one study program that was a face-to-face -face study program before COVID and it had to be completely redesigned. So we had to redesign on-campus courses to online courses, but the network learning MOOC was piloted in an online course, so we didn't have much changes. In general, during COVID-19 phase, we had a shift to flipped classroom. So most of the courses were changed to flipped classroom and the open uh, VM MOOCs were very helpful uh, to use as materials um, for this flipped classroom. So students could basically self-learn with the uh, MOOCs and um, they also got points for this. So in one of the courses, the participation or successful completion of the MOOC made 30%, in another one, 20% of the grade. Um, in this pilot case study, it was compulsory for students to participate in the MOOC and um, they had to complete all three courses and use badges as a certificate or as a proof that they actually completed all three levels. The objectives in this pilot case study was to give students the possibility to experience learning in the MOOC with students from other countries doing this in English and also use the topics of the MOOC uh, which were uh, uh, closely aligned with the content of the courses that uh, the piloting took place in. And um, another objective was also the technology objective. So um, uh, experiencing the technologies such as open badges, e-portfolios and the learning hub um, and uh, reflecting about the, those new technologies for learning. The insights from this pilot case study is that students really like the self-paced um, self -paced format, which was uh, um, done at the foundations level and the foundations level courses. And um, from the teacher perspective, the insight is that from my perspective, that the mini MOOCs were very easy to integrate to the curricula because they have a very flexible modular for format, don't take too much time for students to complete. So it was very easy to, uh, for students to understand and um, integrate them for their self-study as part of the course. So all in all, it was um, a huge benefit for the teacher and for the students to have this uh, mini MOOC experience. Okay, now we move to Rome and Francesca will present this pilot case study. Thank you, Lona. Uh, I'm Francesca Menduni and I am I am a member of the Roma Thread team coordinated by Professor uh, Antonella Pocha. And today I will uh, present the case study in which we implemented the, uh, uh, the open WAM MOOCs uh, within the postgraduate courses in museum studies. I cannot go on with the slide, so please, Ilona, if you, thank you. 
Okay, so um, from the beginning of March 2020, the health emergency imposed us to reorganize the postgraduate courses in museum studies at Roma 3 University. These postgraduate courses are aimed at developing professional, transversal and digital skills in future museum educators. The Open WAM uh, MOOCs were aligned with our objectives to develop digital and transversal skills in students. Um, and uh, from our experience, uh, Italian museum educators in training are not very familiar with uh, digital learning formats such as uh, massive open online courses. Th thus, we thought it would be useful to provide as much information as possible about the open WAM MiniMOOC structure. So we prepared a PowerPoint tutorial that we uploaded on the LMS platform that we used in the postgraduate courses. Students were required to read the, um, the PowerPoint. And then we organized a 30 minute synchronous session through um, uh, Zoom. And students um, uh, were allowed to ask us questions, especially we focused on the intermediate and the advanced level because uh, there are more deadlines and more tasks that could be uh, more complicated to uh, achieve compared to the foundation level. And uh, from our experience, uh, this, uh, um, uh, this uh, helped us. We didn't receive many requests of clar clarification from uh, students. And uh, um, students were asked to choose uh, uh, mini MOOCs they were more interested in, as Ilona said before. It was explained uh, to students that self-regulated learning skills include the ability to choose the most suitable learning path for one's own needs and uh, purposes. And so students, uh, uh, some students, for example, attended all the uh, mini MOOCs and some of them choose the ones that they preferred. Uh, we, uh, uh, the 50 percent of the total of students attended the uh, mini MOOCs uh, and um, from our perspective the OpenVM mini MOOCs allowed us to provide the students the opportunity to develop digital and transversal skills required to face the, cha the challenges that the uh, museum sector is facing uh, at this moment uh, from, one, from our experience, uh, it was important to, to provide instruction before students enrolled in mini MOOCs, especially regarding the intermediate and the advanced level. Thank you, Francesca. Let's move to the next case study, which is uh, Ibiza, and Gemma will present this one. Thank you, Ilona. So I'm a member of the team of the University of the Balearic Islands, along with Professor Santos Urbina. So in the University of the Balearic Islands, we used the mini MOOCs to uh, design an online, uh, an online course for PhD students. These PhD uh, students are, um, are from Spain and from South American countries. The design uh, was not uh, was done before the, the COVID uh, crisis, but however, it is interesting to highlight that although students were motivated to enroll in, in the online course, they, um, they commence have a lot to do with this context and they realize about the, the importance of, of the context as well. So students uh, were um, allowed to choose three of the uh, eight mini MOOCs in which the OpenVM is uh, structured. And um, we also added in the learning design the value of reflection. So students had to reflect on their learning in, the, in forums and um, so this reflection was also um, enhanced by uh, uh, collaboration among peers. The aim of the course was uh, um, 
about learning about virtual mobility, the open framework and the skills. But also we were interested in offering students the possibility to live the experience of um, MOOC and autonomous learning in the MOOC context. As, as I have said, the, the value of the COVID, uh, uh, con it was an added value in the COVID context, but also uh, we think it is very interesting for uh, professional de development, especially in the case of researchers and researchers in the context of educational technology. It has been an important contribution to the internationalization of uh, our institute and the, the offer of uh, online courses for our PhD students. And uh, obviously uh, the, the language was, was a value and was a challenge. Great, thank you for this you. presentation, Gemma. Let's move on to the next case study, which is Timisoara, and Vlad will present this one. Thank you, Ilona. Uh, this is a study which was conducted together with uh, our team coordinated by Diana Andone. And um, as you can see in this, uh, in this next slide, uh, we uh, also had uh, to do some changes due to the COVID situation. I would say we were lucky because uh, we are integrating MOOCs for more than five years in uh, some of our courses. So uh, for us to try to uh, do this, uh, this shift uh, completely in online was not uh, such, a, such a big challenge as for other courses. So we did uh, a piloting for the, uh, for the Open Virtual Mobility Hub with our students in the Multimedia Bachelor Program. Uh, for a course of web technologies. We let them choose two of uh, the eight courses and ask them to uh, complete all the levels in these courses, um, requiring them to focus on some aspects. They needed to learn things about uh, the things, the topics presented in the courses, but they also needed to focus on uh, collaborative activities, on uh, uh, what they like and what they don't like, uh, sort of a usability um, a testing. Uh, they needed to uh, spot the bugs if they found them. So we wanted them to uh, not only learn, but also to uh, try to be active and uh, then to try to synthesize all this information into um, a limited uh, number of, um, of words, as you can see on the screen. Um, each of uh, our students uh, had a very interesting experience and they enjoyed uh, this, uh, this piloting um, because they managed to fulfill the objectives. They developed uh, digital and transversal skills. Uh, most of them uh, found at least a couple of uh, topics in the courses which they loved very much, which they didn't know. Um, and also for them, it was uh, uh, interesting to, to find the uh, errors because usually in the academic uh, area, we don't uh, ask students uh, is a per on a purpose to find errors. So for them, this was fun, uh, which uh, helped them in these uh, difficult times because um, not all courses manage uh, in, the, in, a, in a program manage to uh, do a, a good shift during this COVID uh, times. But uh, for them, uh, having a purpose to cope with uh, this pandemic was very positive. Um, they uh, had a clear activity to focus on and uh, we helped them uh, uh, try to, to, to finish all their, their tasks. At the final presentations uh, for these students, each of them uh, presented live uh, via uh, Zoom uh, what their findings were and uh, there was there was there wasn't one student who who uh, whom didn't find the, this activity uh, very interesting. So I, I will conclude that um, uh, for our students, uh, piloting these MOOCs were, was helpful, and uh, they could find a lot of useful information uh, regarding uh, the skills that sh the skills which are developed uh, into this project. And uh, all of them said that they are going to, uh, to try and do some more courses uh, besides the two uh, which they already did uh, as, a, as a test project. Great, thank you very much for this case study. 
And we have the last case study from Slovenia. Unfortunately, our colleague cannot be here with us, but Gemma will present this pilot. Yes, thank you. So I'm doing this presentation on behalf of Professor uh, Branisla, Branislav Smitek from the University of, Mari of Maribor in Kranj, Slovenia. And um, in this case, the course was really helpful for uh, the program because um, um, the university in the context of the COVID uh, crisis had to move to a complete online format. So uh, the, um, the program and the university was already prepared for uh, blended learning. They had a lot of uh, experience in online learning, but however, they needed and uh, uh, to do a big effort to change to complete online learning. And so the, the MOOC was integrated in these kind of online activities that um, they moved and they used. Um, it was mandatory for uh, students to register and do the activity and uh, the report on the MOOC experience was 10% uh, 10, 10 of uh, the final mark. Um, as the students were asked to do the collaborative learning uh, mini MOOC, the, one of the main aims was to learn about the, the, the concepts and to uh, experience the, um, the collaborative learning in itself. So, um, yeah, the, one of the values is that uh, collaborative learning is uh, needed and it's a skill needed for IT students. And the, the open virtual mobility uh, MOOC was uh, an added value and an added uh, help to the transition to the online learning due to the COVID crisis. And English was a value and a challenge as well. Thank you very much, Gemma. So these are these were our five pilot case studies. If you want to find out more or use learn with with our MOOCs, you can uh, visit our hub hub point uh, open virtual mobility EU. Everybody can take self paced MOOCs at foundation level, or teachers can um, invite their students and collaborate also at level intermediate and advanced. We are also opening a special interest group at uh, EU. Here is the link. Uh, if you are interested, you can join us. And to finish, you can also view two of the videos that our colleague Diana from Timisoara recorded on YouTube, which uh, present the website and the learning hub in more detail if you are interested in this. So thank you so much for your attention and enjoy the rest of the Eden conference. <laughs>